Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about the last analysis of GBP USD. When we did that analysis, the market was here. And we said that we expect the market to buy a bit till this region, then make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern before itself. Of course, remember there was already a strong bearish pressure in the market um, two weeks ago. Then towards the end of the week, there was bullish rejection. So we did say we expect to see a little of bullish activity before the market finally sells. But you can see from Monday through Thursday, there was some amount of indecision in the market. If you were trading last week, you must have noticed that Monday ended as a doji, Tuesday, um, small bearish candle and the rest. So it was until Friday that we had this significant bearish move. So even though the market did not buy as expected, but it's, it finally sold on Friday. So if you were able to get in on that, I want to say congratulations to you. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, GBP USD sold down to this region. And remember this region we said was the lowest region it has been in over 30 years. And started buying got here, ranged a bit bought up to this region and made this inverted pin, but then finally sold, sold down here and made this morning star and bought still this region. So at this region, it ranged for several months before um, last month. Okay, yeah, last month, which was the month of March, was the first time we had a the market buy above this region only for it to sell back and close below the region. Then this is the month of um, April, which we can see is currently a bearish candle. We've had three trading weeks in this month, and it's remaining only one full trading week for this month to come to an end. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see after the market sold from here down here, it's bought, got to this region and it ranged here for several weeks. You can see that here. Stayed here for several weeks until um, this time we bought above this region only for it to sell below that region. So last week ended as a small bearish candle with an upper week. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see the market started selling from here. It has been making um, a number of lower lows and lower highs until Friday. We can see it ended as a healthy bearish candle without a lower week. Then let's consider the 4 hours time frame. On the 4 hours time frame, we can see the market has been selling. And um, you can see here from Monday through Thursday, the market has just been ranging around here until Friday that finally sold this much. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Um, this video should be straightforward. Um, no complexity because the market at the moment is proposing one thing. Um, that is a bearish move. Look at the four hours time frame ended as a bearish candle without the lower week. That's the last candlestick on the four hours time frame. On Friday, on the daily time frame, the market ended as a bearish candle without the lower week. Then, the weekly time frame ended as a bearish candle with an upper week and um, it doesn't have a lower week, which means that there was bearish pressure till the end of the time frame. So for that reason, we believe there's still bearish pressure in the market and the market should sell um, immediately it opens. So um, considering from here down to this region, uh, we can see this bearish pressure in the market, but um like i said we expect the market to sell when it opens there's also possibility pay attention there's also possibility that the market will sell on monday only for it to buy on tuesday this is a possibility remember a downtrend makes series of lower lows and lower highs look from here from this region we can see the market sold this much and bought a bit sold this much and range a bit sold again only for it to buy up to this region before it sells. So you can see from here down to this region, there has not been a buy. It has just 
range here. So even though Monday sells a bit, I see the possibility of it to buy that make a retracement before it sells again. So this still remains our TP 1.22 still remains our tp so we expect the market to come to this region um but in between here and here i see the possibility of a retracement before the market finally sells more so the daily time frame is proposing a sell weekly time frame proposing a sell and the four hours time frame also proposing a sell so um like i said that's how i expect the market to play out there's possibility that it will sell um immediately it opens and it will buy later in the week before it sells again. Now, coming to the monthly time frame, remember, like we said, we've had three complete trading weeks in the month of April. And if this week, which is the fourth week, also ends bearish, then we will have um, the 10 day simple moving average cross over the candlestick on the monthly time frame, which is a bearish entry trigger. and if when that happens we believe that gbp usd will sell more significantly um there is currently bearish pressure in the market and that is what seems will happen so let's just see how the market will play out if we see the retracement happen within this week and perhaps close and the week close perhaps as a bullish candle let's say we have the market close as a bullish engulfing bar on the weekly time frame then there's possibility that there'll be a buy. So let's just see how this week will play out. We know there will be a sell and there will be a retracement, which will be to the bullish direction. So let's see how the market will end this week. Then we'll know what to expect uh, for the month of May and perhaps the month after. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, don't take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to serve you better than risking your hard-earned money, something you fully understand. If you want to get the Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book, Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our forex course. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service will give proper entry, stop loss and take profit, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us the location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.